That's crazy. So.
right, so we made it to Moses Lake. We just checked into our hotel room here, um, and we're just gonna drop off our stuff, um, probably do a pee break, and then uh, there's a cafe that's right over here, just a Sherry's. Apparently, Sherry's is a like a chain, kind of like Perkins, so um, gonna work out good for us. So we should just have two and a half hours to go in the morning uh, to get to Issaquah, and then I've got appointments, I've got an EKG, I've got to do blood work, um, and then I've got an appointment with my doctor uh, after that later in the day. So I'll probably just time lapse the drive there just like you just saw, and then uh, try to show some of the appointments and stuff too. So we'll see you in the morning. Good morning. All right, as you can see, it's a nice crisp morning here. Windows are all fogged up. Um, so we're gonna leave here in a few minutes um, and then I'll be at my appointments. So first thing is an EKG. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the time lapse. We just got done at the hospital. Um, I was gonna film the EKG, but uh, they were kind of strict about filming, so we, we were able to sneak uh, film the blood work. Um, but the EKG was really quick. They just hooked up a bunch of things to me and literally pushed a button, they were done. Uh, but now we're at our Airbnb, 
and it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna give the camera over to Carly and she's gonna help me film. We're gonna do a little quick tour here. Just I can't believe nobody's tearing this up right now. If I lived here and this is my day off, I'd be cutting that butter hard. Somebody out there shredding. Hard to see from here. I think they're wakeboarding because it looks like they're throwing a wake. I mean, it looks like a wake boat, but a little hard to see. <laughs> That looks like that. Huh? That's actually a new one. <laughs> Look at that. Check it out, I've ordered stuff from this place online several times in the past and apparently it's right next to the hospital I'm going to be getting surgery at. So we're going to go inside and check it out. I know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you want to get that as a gift for her? All right, we're back at the Airbnb and we're sitting down by the water. We're just beaching it right now. And uh, had a really good appointment with my doctor. Um, it sounds like we'll basically be able to leave here right after the surgery. Uh, basically, like, I think I might stay one night in the hospital or one night in the hotel right after. Um, I might not even have to stay a night in the hotel in the hospital, but I might see if I can because I, I might feel safer that way. But uh, yeah, so then we can go right home, which I was thinking that we'd have to stay here for, I mean, at a minimum, I thought it was going to be four to five days. So that's really good news. And my doctor uh, kind of made it sound like it's going to be easy. Um, even even the worst case scenario he described was like just still replacing a few parts and I, it would only take like four hours for surgery and I'd be able to put full weight on it right away um, and all the scenarios he described. Uh, the great news is that he looked at the rods and the bones and, and uh, he says uh, they look great for 25 years old and he has no intentions of replacing the entire thing. So, um, so all good news. Um, now we just got to hang out and wait till surgery on next on the com this coming Tuesday which is actually about five days from now because um, today is Friday um, so we're gonna relax here at this lake and also uh, just kind of do a few things around here I have some friends we're gonna go visit tomorrow and uh, and some other uh, friends we might see in the next few days um, we'll just kind of do some things here around Seattle area and uh, maybe enjoy some food and uh, right now we're going to toast some champagne um, because there's a couple of there's a couple of things that we've been meaning to celebrate um, the, one of the main things is Carly over here passed her series 7 testing uh, as a financial advisor so uh, yeah anyways um, that's it for now oh, oh. 
just tell me when. It's good. Oh yeah, it's filming up. Mm. Look at my magic bullet bullet cup. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To, to, to you, to me, and everything. <laughs> So today we're gonna go visit some friends in Ocean Shores. So it's about a two and a half hour drive. Um, it's some friends that uh, used to live in Billings, Montana, but they moved out to Washington uh, a few years back. And he actually visited Billings last year for his 40th birthday. Um, so I got to see him then, but um, yeah, we're gonna go see where they live now. All right, we're at my buddy Adam's house and his uh, girlfriend Molly. <laughs> well, it's, it's him and his girlfriend Molly's house. And they, they live right by Ocean Shores, or they live in Ocean Shores, right by the beach. You can actually see it out their window. Um, probably hard for you to see, but yeah, it's a nice place. <laughs> Say hi, guys. He's in there now. <laughs> Early bird over here trying to get the worm, I think. I've yet to see a wakeboarder up early, but there's definitely skiers out here wanting to get it. Oh, that's a short rope. He must be a pretty good skier. All right, today I'm going to show Carly where I lived for almost a year when I was getting chemotherapy at Seattle Children's Hospital. Right now we are crossing Lake Washington and uh, I kind of lived in the university area, so we're just about there. I'm gonna go show her the hospital I was at most of that time and then we actually live at the Ronald McDonald House, so I'm gonna show her that as well.
surgery day we just uh, are now right now leaving the Airbnb and we're only like 10 minutes away if that from the hospital uh, I just I'm a little out of breath because I just came up the hill um, so yeah uh, gonna try to do a little videoing right in the hospital I'm not, obviously not gonna be able to videotape the surgery but um, right before and right after so I'm a little nervous um, but excited to get this done so uh, See you in a minute. You got it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, I beat up. Just talked to my doctor. Um, about to go into surgery. I think there's several more steps because I think I have to talk to the anesthesiologist as well. Um, but uh, yeah, a little nervous, but uh, just excited to get this done. So, um, look at that. <laughs> and my doctor put his uh, mark on my knee. There's my sugar level. It's good. It was good result. All right. Nice. All right. Just waiting for the war nurse. She'll be going in soon. Um, had to get a COVID test right away. Had to wipe myself down with like, they're like alcoholic wipes or alcohol wipes or something like that. And then get into this gown. Got all my vitals. I got my blood sugar taken. Uh, I have this IV in. I think I'm getting saline up there. Um, I guess anesthesia doesn't happen until I get into the operating room. Um, but I think they're gonna come talk to me about that first. Um, I talked to my doctor. Um, so, it's ready for surgery now. Let's see how it goes. Got myself a fun hat. <laughs> Out of surgery. I was going to Mexico, wanted to repractice for surfing, so what I was doing was actually like laying on the floor and trying to get like my back muscles because whenever you surf so long you're on your board because you have to like paddle 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 so you're constantly like in this motion uh, your neck oh, hurts yeah. so oh, much yeah. so i was trying to strengthen those muscles sure, yeah. and then mm -hmm. strengthen like all of this because like whenever you're really like you have to go yeah sometimes yeah. you have to like go for like miles it feels oh, like yeah. if you're out there for like hours and hours and hours sure. like if i was in hawaii for six hours yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be insane so I, and then you, again close fingers because so that was my nurse for uh, staying overnight here. Um, her name's Emily. Uh, super cool. She she surfs and snowboards a lot, so we got to talking about that a lot. Um, hasn't wake surfed yet, but sounds super interested in it. So she was just giving me some tips on on paddling, um, and then we were just kind of talking about some stuff, and she was totally fine with us filming. So thought that was cool. Um, so I'm staying overnight tonight um, because uh, I chose the. I think I talked about this a little bit earlier, but I chose the uh, the epidural or the spinal block option uh, for anesthesia, and uh, uh, and then they just put you to sleep. And my my butt and my genitals are still totally numb, and the bottoms of my feet were pretty numb 
and and that was like i mean we're i think a solid five hours after surgery maybe six hours after surgery um my feet are starting to come back to life now though um uh still waiting on the butt and genitals but um uh, i think Things so far so good though. Uh, I'm, I haven't experienced any pain yet, but I know that I'm pretty certain I talked to the anesthesiologist about doing a, a nerve block, right? Right, like in my thigh. And I'm pretty sure they did that. So I don't know what kind of pain I'm gonna feel coming out, but I have a pretty high pain tolerance in general. So I'm not expecting it to be something I can't handle. Um, so yeah, just hanging out overnight. One of the things that sucks is uh, Carly sitting right here. Um, She's not able to stay with me. In fact, I think she's gonna have to go here pretty soon. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Anyways, uh, that kind of sucks. But uh, we're we're gonna leave tomorrow. Uh, huge shout out to uh, the Lake Sammamish Beach House Airbnb uh, that we've been staying at because I we didn't know she wasn't gonna be able to stay with me, and I reached out right away. And uh, the guy's name is Aaron, um, and he. He's, uh, he had no problem just letting us stay there another, or letting my wife stay there another night. And just, he's just being super accommodating. And, um, and it was great for my wife because we'd stay there for uh, five nights, I think it was, or four nights. And um, we just feel you know, safer there and comfortable there. So it was just an easy, quick choice. Um, so it was super supportive of him. So thanks again, Aaron. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna stop for now, but I'll, maybe I'll do a little more about vlogging later. All right, I'm pretty happy. Um, so it's just about nine o'clock Pacific time. Um, almost completely uh, un unnumbed. I'm not numb anymore. I actually changed into some underwear and got out of the the gown thing because it was kind of uncomfortable. Uh, and I just stood up and then had the nurse come in and. Uh, I grabbed my crutches and I just walked around. I just had my crutches like with me, but I was able to walk without them, um, which is pretty incredible. My leg and knee just feels like, like I just had a good wakeboarding weekend or something. So it's just kind of sore, um, but I can do almost everything with it. I can do extensions. It hurts a little bit to do extensions, um, but I can bend it. Um, I can walk on it. Uh, I just, I just haven't, uh, I just don't know how long it's going to be before um, I'm totally healed and like feel 100%, which that'll probably take, take some time. Um, that and I'm, I'm not sure if I'm feeling all the pain yet. I'm actually, I'm pretty sure because I think they did a nerve block, an injection for a nerve block. So for all I know, I could be in a lot more pain tomorrow. Um, but I have, a, in, but in general, I have a pretty high pain tolerance. So I think I'll be okay. Um, and in, I'm, I'm just overall excited uh because uh you know from the point that this from the point that i broke my knee up until like surgery um things got a little bit you know i was really worried at first and then things got better as i went but um i've basically just been feeling uncertain about things and now things are feeling pretty good so um yeah just wanted to provide a little update
pretty good news so far. Uh, all's been going well. Uh, I was able to walk around uh, a few times now without the crutches, uh, just having with the crutches in my hands for assistance. Um, and I was able to show the physical therapist and, and they were they were happy with uh, where I'm at, what I can do, and uh, then we got released uh, basically just before noon. I still have my like blood bag thing, not sure if you can see that, um, to allow it to drain, but it's not draining much, uh, so I'll probably be able to take it out the next day or so. Uh, even though I can walk without crutches, I'm really not supposed to do that much, uh, or maybe not at all. Uh, just try to act like I'm not walking normally with the crutches, with their assistance, but not put crazy amounts of weight on it. Just because um, for the next week, the just the surgery part of it needs to uh, heal basically the incisions and where they did, you know, kind of clean up of, uh, of old scar tissue and, and just stuff that was in there. So I'm gonna give that all a chance to heal up and then uh, see where it goes from there. Basically, it's just a matter of, you know, getting it back to normal, giving it time to heal. So, really good news. Uh, we should be home tomorrow. And I have high hopes for still having a pretty good season out on the lake. So it just kind of depends on how things work out. We're actually supposed to uh, kind of keep my body moving and mobile um, so that I don't have the chance of, or so I can lower the chance of uh, a blood clot. Um, that's a, a risk after you have surgery, I guess. So we're gonna be stopping probably uh, once every hour, maybe a little more, just so I can get up and move around. So yeah, it's gonna take a little longer to get back, and that's why I said we're gonna get back tomorrow because it's a 13 hour drive. We're not gonna do all that today. We're gonna basically just drive during the light hours. So as it starts getting close to dark this evening, we'll probably just pick a spot and stay for the night. But make sure to keep watching because I have some really cool stuff to show you. Um, I have the parts out of my knee that they replaced, and I think it is super cool. Um, just to see how it works, see what it looks like, feel it, all that stuff. So I am going to video that and give you a breakdown, and it'll be here in just a few seconds in the video.
I'm back to it later. <laughs> You're so sweet, honey. <laughs> Why do you have dad under when, your uh, It's just to help it be when comfortable. When your mom brought her, I was sitting over here. Why are you just going to take a little and, uh, wrapper Julie off? Went, met so I can take a break from her. I think she might have been already out. But anyway, <clears throat> she come in and come Why are you going to take a break just from Just giggling. Because it's just itchy. Just nuzzled up to me the longest time. Aww. Why? Why is that wrapper itchy? Are you going to take that off a little? Mm-hmm. He's going to take the little selfie off a little. Yeah. She has a little journey to, to, to get all his ashes yeah. out. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> You're the cutest. <laughs> You're this little girl that you have. <laughs> I always call their, I always call their your algae. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my little lady. Does the little drink feel a little hurt? I don't really feel anything. Here? It doesn't feel like anything. Yeah. At, at the hospital, did you didn't, uh, uh, feel your bed? <laughs> yeah, he couldn't feel his butt for a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was over here and she kept I found my, my little pain my thing. Lady. I found my little pain thing. You did? It was in, it was in my play box. How many toys ended up upstairs? <laughs> See, there's, there's the top of it. This is where Daddy's stitches are at. They're underneath of that pad. Oh, we keep that pad it's on. It's kind of like... Kind of like the stitches on your seam right here on this. See? They're like a big. Like this. It's like this on your skin. <laughs> stitches like this on your skin. Oh, I don't have stitches anymore. No. <laughs> I'm talking about the ones on your dress. <laughs> You're so cute. And your clothes. Yeah, Daddy has a big. No, this this is my long shirt. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's my long pretty shirt, but it, it's it. It's probably a little small. Oh. It's almost like you got duct tape on there. Yeah, it's For pretty. Here. It's on there pretty good. It's, it's gonna, really it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get this off. Yeah, it's really. Why do you really have those on? This down here is just stuck to me. Why are you gonna get that in a fun angle? <laughs> <laughs> he asked me to get it from this angle, which means get it from this side. All right, we're finally home and uh, happy to have that trip done and over with. Um, but I just want to show you one of the coolest things so far out of this. Um, I asked, I asked if I could keep the parts um, that they replaced in my knee, um, and they allowed me to, uh, and. It's super cool. So I'm gonna show those to you right now. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy to see what broke and what happened and basically see how the knee works in general. Here it is. So this is the end of my femur right here. And you can see they just kinda disconnected it on the end there. So it just hooks to a piece that goes up here and then it goes into my femur. And then it goes into my femur what's, that's left, you know, as, as opposed to being metal. And then you can see this is the rod that goes into my tibia. Um, but this actually sits in like a, almost like a plastic cone. Um, and there's a plate right, a metal plate right here that this seats into. And this is what broke. So what happened is, you know, I hyperextended, so it went like this. Hyperextended and then this broke off. So that's what broke. Um, but Probably hard to tell on here on this camera. I'll try to get to where there's some more light. Uh, it's probably pretty hard to tell uh, with the camera, but um, this had been wearing out for quite a while. Um, so it didn't just break this time, because I, I did ask, you know, is it possible I could go hyperextend my knee again right away and have this happen again? And they said, no, it's, it was deterioration over, over uh, the course of 20 years. Um, you can tell it's skinnier at this side than it is on the back side of it. 
Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this apart so you can see it better. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of show you how this works. You know, here's my, here's my knee, you know? That's crazy. So yeah, if you take that off and then you can pull this out. So this is just like a, kind of like a cushion and a stop. A cushion for when it, you know, basically to keep me from hyperextending. So you can see this, this hinge replaces all my ligaments. So I have no ligaments in my left knee. Um, I do have tendons, but no ligaments. A good example of a tendon that I have is I do have the patella tendon that goes over the top. Um, so yeah, if you take that out and then take this out, then you can take this pin out and you can see the notch that, that this piece right here sits under. So you have that pin and then that's what holds the hinge mechanism together. So how cool is that? It's just crazy. Just blows my mind. This is all titanium as well. Uh, this is actually pretty heavy in my hand. It's almost like holding gold. I don't think it's quite the weight of gold, but it's it's that's what it kind of feels like. It's like, oh man, this is way heavier than you would expect it to be. Like if it was an aluminum part, this would be way lighter. Um, but titanium is super strong, and that's the point of it being titanium. So yeah, this is super cool. But I'll just put it back together here. Line it up. And I asked my, I asked the doctor, like, man, this pin seems to be able to come out so easy. Like how, what's keeping it in place? And he said that when it's all lined up inside my knee, uh, you can't even move it. You know, you, you have to kind of like almost break it apart. So that's kind of how it's designed to work, basically. All right. There it is. I might figure out some way to mount that. That is super cool. Super cool to be able to have this in my hand and, and, and be able to show people what exactly my knee looks like, what it, well, how it works and everything. Um, because this is not a normal knee replacement. A lot of, every time I say knee replacement to people, they think of something entirely different than this. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a heck of a journey, um, but it went by pretty quick. I'm uh, glad that it's all done and I'm healing now. Um, this is actually about five days later from the last clip that you just saw there. Um, my leg is doing great. I'm actually walking without crutches right now. I'm still quite a ways from 100%, but I'm doing really good. And I will be doing another video next week to follow this one. Uh, to kind of show you where I'm at in the progress. So things are looking good. Really hoping that I'll at least be close to 100% by the beginning of June so that I can still enjoy the best part of my season um, and uh, just really happy with the results. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts on this video or ideas for future videos, please leave those in the comments below. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and click on that notifications bell so you'll be notified of my future videos. I'll see you next week.